Hi Year 6, nice to see you. I mean, I can't see you, but I'm sure it's very nice that you can see me. So, uh, I've got a little investigation for you today, and I want you to take a little bit of time on it, explore it, and see what you can do. Now, I'm sure you're all very familiar with the game Snakes and Ladders. Now, Snakes and Ladders is played with a dice. Let me show you one, let me go and get one. Okay, here we go. Okay, so a die has six sides. So we know that we've got a one in six chance of landing on one of the specific numbers. Okay, so let's say that I'm only three away from completing the game. I need a three. I know that I've got a one in six chance of rolling this die and getting the result of three, which is what I need. Okay, but I want you to prove that to me. I want to see what reality looks like compared to probability. Okay, so I want you to create a little frequency table like this and I want you to have a go. Get a die, either a physical one like this, or use a link in the description below to use an online die, and roll it maybe 30, 40, or even 50 times, and create some results. And we're hoping to see that those results are similar, at least similar, in each of the different uh, options, okay, the different number options. We're probably not going to see what are the numbers, get all of the results, but we might see some discrepancy, okay, so it's going to be interesting to see what we get. Okay, now that's the easy part, that's part one. Part two, now I want you to get a second die. Okay, and now we've got a different set of numbers that we can roll. We can roll any combination, if we're adding the two together, we can roll any combination from two all the way up to 12, if I roll a double six, okay? So I have the numbers two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12 that I could probably roll, okay? Now, I've got a statement that I want you to either prove correct or prove wrong. I believe we are just as likely to roll a combined total of four as we are a combined total of, where is it, seven, okay? So I believe that we are just as likely to roll a four as we are to roll a seven. Your job is to either prove me right or prove me wrong. Now the challenge today is going to be how you are actually recording your results, okay? It's not going to be a case of just, just simply rolling the dice a hundred times and seeing which ones are more likely. That's probably one way of doing it, but I'm looking for a little bit more scientific inquiry going into this, okay? Look at how you're going to result, record your results. Is there a way we don't even need to roll a die to show the probability of rolling a seven compared to rolling a four? Okay, that's your challenge today, guys. Good luck. I've got a link in the description below which goes through all the explanation of this again so you can read it rather than listen to my horrible voice. Like I say, there's a die connected to the link as well so you can just click that to get a die if you want to. Record your results in any way you want. I'm looking for just interesting and creative inquiry. Good luck, I hope you enjoy it and I'll check back in soon. Thanks a lot.